Hey everybody, it's Emily here from Phoenix Gateway and I'm here to do a general weekly read for the 11th to the 17th of April. I am working with my Sacred Geometry Healing Cards. Uh, they are available on my website as well as stockists worldwide. Just have to Google them in, in your town or city or if you buy them from me, I also um, personally sign them if you like. The other thing I'd like to just mention, I feel like I'm going to sneeze in a minute, uh, my beautiful water frequencies that I create. Um, and these are uh, an alchemical frequency because they create a synergy, they combine a synergy of energies and they have been created to work on all levels of our of, of our bodies, our emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical bodies. They have been created to help nurture, balance, and heal on all levels. And really now with the way things are, you know, we're coming to this culmination with this past two years, and there is so much unrest going on. And I just find the biggest, biggest thing that is lacking is balance and, you know, I know that especially within myself and I know that I need to work on that too, but I know it's just not me because for many people that I speak to, it's also with them. So this is one way in which we can work with that balance as well. And I, the, I took a couple this morning. I do create them as a solfeggio frequency and I found that the 396, so we're, for me, it's about, you know, releasing fear. Um, and the 528 came through. So it's all about manifesting and bringing in transformation and miracles. Like it's a, on a really, really positive note. So, and, and I think 528 actually is a frequency that more and more people need to start working with, especially, especially now because of um, the frequency really aligns with our energy uh, and, you know, can help align us on so many levels and can help us not only on a cellular level of, you know, healing, but it's also about bringing around transformation and miracles. So if it comes through today, there's, you know, an even bigger sign, but regardless, um, highly recommend for people to watch and listen to the 528 um, Solfeggio Frequency. So, oh, and the other thing I will do is most likely pull a couple of cards from Colette Baron reeds um, deck, which is the Spirit of Animal Oracle, because I just find, I love how the cards correlate to what I do pull out, and you can see that as well. So, I'm going to ask for, a, oh, that's way too many. So, this is a general weekly read. I'd like to pull a full few cards for whoever this resonates with, please and thank you. So usually I'll wait till they fall out. They don't always do that and I need to actually pull them myself when I feel like that's what I need to do today. All right. Okay. Hmm. Well, we're already going straight into the heart. So this is all about uncondi unconditional love. Um, I'm feeling unconditional love, peace, harmony. This is what we're here to learn is unconditional love because love is, you know, one of the most strongest frequencies of all to actually experience. And when we start to feel that within ourselves, we start to do that, you know, we've done the inner work with ourselves and we create that love, we are then emitting that love for others to feel as well, okay? So really, really, really important that we go into this heart space of now, okay? The octahedron pertains to the element of air and it is the heart space, okay? Um, let's see, Oop. okay, here we go. We have the fruit of life, this is the 13 spheres of knowledge, okay? This is the step before Metatron's cube. With this card in particular, this is about the inner work. And with the way I'm seeing things at the moment is that really for many, many of us over the last two years, what we have been experiencing is the dark night of the soul. 
what we're experiencing is this alchemical transformation. And when I say that, it's not just about turning lead into gold because we can go through a psychological aspect of that alchemical transformation. And that's what we do. It's how we transform. It's about going through, you know, um, aspects of ourselves and looking at where we need to change. It's like knowing that what we have been doing how we've maybe been going about things is needing to change. It's necessary because we can't hold on to our past. We can't, you know, keep going through the same cycles that we have been doing on a day-to-day, month-to-month, year-to-year basis. Relationships change too. First and foremost, the relationship within ourselves changes. This has been the most transformative time of our lives. It has been absolutely unbelievable and I want to say maybe unbearable for some. But, you know, without chaos, we can't find, you know, harmony. We, we can't create, you know, uh, um, peace and harmony. So we need the chaos in our lives to be able to change, okay, what needs to be birthed. And I've... Um, always said that you know for every crisis there is a gift and there is a gift that awaits it's an it's a gift for many of consciousness it's that awakening the awareness that we are now heading towards it's that understanding of what love is truly about and it's hard you know change is bloody hard um it just doesn't come naturally to most of us because we, we like our creature comforts. We like, you know, for many of us, we honestly, we play a victim role, whether we consciously or subconsciously do it. We, we, we stay in a role that continues um, the same story. And it's now that we have to go, you know what? No more. We need to change. We need to bring in harmony on all levels. This is the Solfeggio frequencies, the ancient sound frequencies, the purest of um, sound and frequency. This is what you need to listen to. Not the music of today that was changed. Music of the A note is now at a 440 hertz, okay? That was changed many, many years ago to put sound off balance, which when we start listening to things that are out of, out of balance, we're out of balance. A note should start at a 432 hertz, that universal frequency. And there are some musicians out there that are very, very aware of this, and they actually do do it, okay? Let's pull a few more cards. All right. Oh, my dog's going back. There's someone... Sorry about that. Okay. Hang on. Zeus. Apologies. Next card is the 852 frequency. Okay. We're really onto the solfeggio frequencies and it's so, so pertinent right now. 852 is all about our intuition and wisdom. This is our connection into source. Okay. Really, we really need to strengthen this connection into source which is really strengthening our intu intuition to self, okay? It's listening to our higher self, our future self. It's about connecting in to, you know, our, um, our guides or a god, goddess, whomever it is that you align to with that certain frequency. But these frequencies that are out there are the frequencies that we also find within ourselves. Everything is as above, so below. It is the law of correspondence, okay? And you will start to see that the more self-aware you become, the more you will start understanding these natural laws that really exist. And I feel, you know, a lot of people are starting to, to question a lot of stuff. They're starting to want more knowledge as well. So this is not just about doing the inner work it's not, you know, to do our inner work, we're also going to soul search. We're also going to find a teacher. We're also going to be watching, 
you know, we may be watching documentaries, we might be wanting to read books, okay? So we are learning, we are learning and we are strengthening our connection to source. As we're doing this, as we're going through these uh, really challenging times, and it's okay, and chaotic times, it's okay because there's light at the end of the tunnel. You have to believe it, you have to feel it, you have to see it, okay? And the more we connect in, we do see it because we're working with our third eye, okay? But it's knowing that as we are going through changes, we can be vulnerable and that vulnerability um, is okay, you know, it's okay. It's okay to be vulnerable because it's knowing that we're going through change, but it's really important to protect ourselves. So calling upon the energy of Raven, whether you use a pentacle, like we, we can use all different geometries to protect ourselves. Oh, look at me here, you know, I've got um, the evil eye, I'm wearing that today, okay? We can, whatever, um, makes you feel comfortable, whether you cloak yourself uh, in a beautiful, um, you know, black um, cloak of some sort, or you actually put yourself into a sphere and then you put colors around it like a big bubble, you put yourself into a bubble. So really, it's up to you. You can wear crystals such as black tourmaline, um, uh, jet, you know, bronzine, we, we can deflect energy of others. So really, really important. What I also love about this card, it's a number 44, and 44 is also about polarity. And when we look at, which is another nat natural law, um, one of the seven hermetic principles, um, the law of polarity, it's about the polar opposites, okay? And it's also about for us to find the degree in which we can find balance. And balance, as we've already been speaking of, is really, really, really important, all right? At the end, the wisdom that we, we will, which we seek is coming forth because to gain wisdom, we need knowledge and to gain knowledge is to gain power. Look for this sign. Maybe owl is one of your totems. Maybe you start seeing owl, but you can work with the energy of owl. You can call upon owl, okay, to help guide you. They can help guide you from that darkness into the light, all right? And interesting enough, the bottom of the deck, foundations. This is that dark night of the soul. This is that instability that we do feel. Okay, protection also. Um, we are going through rocky times and in unstable times. And that's feeling like the unknown. You don't know where you're going, but you have to trust. You have to believe. You have to have faith. You have to come from that place of love. Okay, that unconditional love. Okay. It's knowing and trusting and believing and having faith that regardless of what is going on right now, that you rise above that frequency of fear, that, um, you know, a lot of the anger, um, it's that understanding that when we put ourselves at a higher frequency, what we're also doing is you know, we're bringing in more that element of love. We're rising above the, the, the lower dross. And that's where they'd love us to stay, but that's not where we're going to be because we're coming up here, not staying down here. And as we're doing all this, as we're finding these changes and that dark night of the soul coming that is there, as we, um, as... Uh, we, we, you know, we're finding these changes that we're creating that al alchemy within ourselves. Um, things are changing and, and they're happening for good. They're happening for positive reasons. Um, the bottom of the get, just even looking at the bottom of the deck, you know, protection, 44. The panther, okay, 44. Um, this is about reclaiming your power. This is what we are doing. Again, it's all about that polarity. All right? I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to grab two more cards of this deck 
just to see what does come through. But I love Panther Spirit. It's such a powerful, powerful card. And it is about reclaiming your power, all right? I've actually got three more that have come through. So the Starfish Spirit, open to infinite possibilities. This is about wishing upon a star. This is like the star card in the tarot deck. It's about, um, you know, do not stop believing, having faith that what is to come through. You know, it's about even talking about the 528 frequency earlier today. It's about creating and manifesting and, and transforming and bringing to light what you want. Don't lose hope. Don't lose sight of what it is that you want to create. Crow spirit, co-create with spirit, okay? 17. Then this goes here again on the 852. Um, one and seven is an eight. Eight is what we're here to manifest. We're working with these higher frequencies. The 852, okay, is a six, all right? Again, six is pertains to our heart, but we're working from that higher heart aspect. We're working with intuition. We're working with our wisdom, okay? We're learning how to manifest. And we're, you know, we're, we're keeping clear and focused on our, on the end goal. And it's all coming with pure, unconditional love. All right. And Groundhog's Day, perfect to end it, okay? This is all about letting go. What it's saying, time to let go. It is now time to let go of what no longer serves you. It's time to let go of the story that has ended it is time to create a new story a new happy ending and bring in a lot of new energy within your life that involves a shit ton of love and happiness and health and prosperity but only you can do that because it will occur as you create the changes create the change <clears throat> when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change, which is a Wayne Dyer um, quote that I've used a number of times over the years, okay? He's just one of many. A really beautiful reading. Um, you know, it's okay. You're coming to an end now. We're coming to the end. We're bringing forward these changes. It is coming. You've got to keep doing that work on yourself. Um, see the ending. Do not lose faith or hope of that of um, of what is to come, what it is you're, you're manifesting. I keep clear and focused on that. Have a beautiful week um, wherever you are in this world. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. I love you and speak soon. Bye for now.